Welcome back to Amjad Sifra. Today we'll be making three easy open-faced breakfast sandwiches. I love these on weekday mornings, sometimes for brunch, and they're super quick and easy. Let's get started. Our first open-faced sandwich is an egg salad topped with some Turkish sujuk. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my water is boiling and then very gently lower my eggs into the water. If you even try to do this kind of from the surface of the water without kind of dipping it in, you may notice that some of your eggs are cracking and releasing some of those whites. So trust me, just use a slotted spoon and gently drop them in. And then I'm gonna set the timer for just eight minutes. That way it won't be too runny and it won't be too firm and gray it'll be perfect. So while that's doing its thing, let's head over and prep our sujuk. Turkish sujuk is basically a beef sausage that has a ton of spices in it. You can find more mild or spicy variations. I get mine from the local halal store, um, Turkish grocery stores, international markets should have this. Now you want to make sure that you remove the casing entirely. You don't want that in your food. And then I like to cut it up into chunks. That way you get a nice bit of meat with every bite. Now to cook this, we want a very hot skillet and notice I'm not adding any fat. So no oil, no butter. Sujuk is already full of fat. So as you can see, it will quickly release that moisture on its own. And all you have to do is turn down the heat a little bit and watch it turn beautiful golden brown, just like this. It's gonna cook quick, so keep an eye on it. And so I'm just going to remove it. This is about maybe less than five minutes later so that I can set it aside. I mean, you're gonna have a hard time not picking at it and eating as you prepare the rest of your sandwiches. I mean, look at that. Okay, let's move on. So my eggs are ready and I'm gonna start pulling them out and dropping them straight into an ice bath. Now you can do it this way or you can just drain the hot water and start running some cold water over them. This is so that they stop cooking and now once I start peeling them, it's going to be a breeze. So what I like to do is gently tap each end of the egg on my surface and then give it a tap all around and kind of go for that air pocket on the bottom or top side, depending on your egg. And that's it, they come off really easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel them all and then give them a rough chop. You don't want them to get too small. I like my egg salad to be nice and chunky. So for this egg salad, I actually like to use labna instead of mayo. Labna is kefir cheese and since it's kind of chunky as you can see, you want to add it to the bowl first and kind of whip it a little bit with your spatula. That way you're making it smoother so when you fold in the eggs, it kind of combines really easily. Now that my cheese is nicely whipped, I'm adding my chopped eggs as well as some kosher salt, Aleppo pepper, and if you don't have any Turkish Aleppo pepper, you can use red pepper flakes. And then I also like to add fresh chives. If you don't have chives, I guess you can use uh, green onions. And then some poppy seeds. I love the flavor of poppy seed. Reminds me of bagels and I think it goes really well with this. And then lastly, some freshly ground black pepper. Now we are going to gently fold this mixture from the bottom of the bowl. You don't want to mix it up all in the middle because then you'll just get a squishy egg salad, which is not attractive and most people don't like that texture. So be gentle, fold it all in, don't over mix and then set it aside and allow all of those flavors to blend in together. Don't forget to taste and adjust your seasoning. See if you need a little bit more salt, pepper, a little bit more heat. Mine was perfect, but you may need to adjust yours. So just make sure you do that. 
make sure you get yourself some nice hearty bread. I love me some multigrain with some seeds and we wanna get these nice and toasty. Now while those are getting nice and toasty, I'm going to whip up a quick Yemeni Zahawig. And what this is, is basically a classic Yemeni salsa that is served with literally everything. It's a staple in our house. So we've got some fresh cilantro, garlic, fresh mint, which you absolutely don't want to skip, and some hot pepper, not too much, just to kind of give it that kick, and a few chunks of tomatoes. Now I'm starting it this way and I'm going to give it a very good blitz so that I can make sure all the herbs and the garlic kind of create a very fine paste so I don't have chunks of herbs in there. Once that looks like that, I'm going to add the rest of my tomatoes and start adding in my spices. First one is going to be ground cumin. Second is going to be dried coriander and then some black pepper and salt. That's it. There's really nothing else to it. And then we're going to pulse it. We don't want the tomatoes to get too broken down or then the salsa um, will be too watery and nobody likes watery how it. This is a staple in our house, so there's always a glass jar in the fridge and it's perfect for weekday mornings and I'll show you exactly how we use it. Now we're ready to assemble and I'm gonna start with a generous amount of my egg salad and each of those are going to be topped off with my already cooked Turkish sujuk. Be generous here, you don't wanna skimp on any of that delicious meat. And then what I like to do in terms of garnish is use whatever's already in the dish. So in this case, I'm doing some of those Aleppo peppers, a little bit more of those poppy seeds, and then some beautiful green chives for that extra oniony bite. Okay, those look beautiful. Now, moving on, I'm about to introduce you to one of the best cheeses I've ever had in my life. It's called Boursin cheese. Okay, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I'm going to link it down below. It's this herby, garlicky, amazing, spreadable cheese. It's stronger than cream cheese, but I highly recommend it. We're then going to add a slice of smoked salmon. Any type of smoked salmon will work. I just like the classic Nova Scotia one and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice. Now, my favorite part of this is the sunny side up egg. Now, if you're like me, you absolutely hate it when a beautiful yolk is wasted. And with open face sandwiches, yes, a full yolk does look nice, but in reality, when you pick it up to eat it, the yolk cracks, gets all over your plate, and it's pretty much a waste. So what I like to do, especially on weekday mornings, is crack my yolk. Notice I'm only doing this once the whites have set so that the yolk is staying within the white exterior. This way, once I add this to my sandwich, the yolk won't run off to the plate. No yolk will be wasted and it's perfect. Now make sure you just season that with salt and freshly ground black pepper. And that's it. I'm going to transfer this onto that beautiful open face sandwich. And this one will probably be my favorite, just saying. The only other thing I'd add to these is some fresh chives. Again, that oniony bite really complements the salmon nicely. Now last but not least, and probably my most eaten sandwich for breakfast is my Lebna and Zahawag. Lebna, Arab home, we always have that in the fridge. And Yemeni Zahawag, just like I mentioned, is constantly in my fridge. So busy weekday mornings, it's the quickest thing. I just toast my bread for a minute and then I slather on Lebna and top it off with this beautiful Zahawag and I can walk out the door. And there you have it, my three favorite open-faced breakfast sandwiches. All the ingredient lists will be down below. Please don't forget to subscribe and let's start with the tasting. So we're gonna have them taste them first and I have one toast for each, okay? Yeah, so you get one with the egg salad. Whoa, one? Yeah, and you take a bite and then tell me what you think. Okay. We're gonna write that. Do first. I'll start. You go to just go and start. Oh, this one's really good. And I love the sujuk. 
So it adds a lot of um, great A lot of different flavor. textures. You would assume that the labna is too salty, but it's really not. And whipping it in the beginning was very important. Wow. You so like good? it? I'm gonna take another bite. Okay, one more bite, and then we're doing the next one. Now, what I love about cracking the yolk like this, as you can see, it's still nice and yolky, but you're not wasting any yolk. And it's less messy. I'm gonna take the first bite. Me too, me too. Does it look like I'm about to kiss it? Okay, I don't know. It's between this and egg salad. They're my two favorites. They're so good. Wow. Salmon's really good. Isn't the combo? <laughs> and the yolk? Very nope. wasting any yolk. I taste the chives. Yeah. The chives nice. are very. Um... Don't replace the chives with parsley. It won't be the same. Okay. And this Very one rich. is lebna with Yemeni zahawig, and on top we had a little bit of um, chili pepper. I think I like the protein ones. The this is what I've been eating for first. years in the morning, so that was good. This is lebna? Yeah. Lebna ma zahawig. Familiar. Yeah, familiar yeah. flavors, but it's nice as an open face like this in the morning. This is the lightest one. This is the lightest one, for sure. Probably the healthiest. Okay, so which ones are your favorites? Tell us. Salmon and egg. Salmon and egg definitely have to be my favorite. Maybe if this was, if the sujik was still hot, or fresh, like I think it's been sitting here a little bit. If it was like fresh, because like, still a close when, it, when it came off the griddle, it was amazing. But it's still really good. But I really like the, the left out of the eggs. Yeah. Big 